Just a few years ago, folding screens on electronic devices was a futuristic tech that no one could believe could become a reality. Here we are today, and there's a second generation of them coming out, and Lenovo is leading the charge in the industry with the Lenovo Fold. Uh, Daryl, how has the technology broken through the barrier to making these screens durable with the Lenovo Fold? More and more people are working from home. And one of the studies indicates when you work from home, workspaces are very much at a premium. In the office, we have these large desks, large amounts of room, but we go home, we are working on a much smaller area, sometimes in a shared space with our wife and kids. The other part is we're also working anywhere we can. And we're seeing that the foldable device is unique in that it carries small, use big. You have the ability to port it around much smaller footprint. And then when you open it up, because a much larger device, have a 13 inch class device, you can use it. And we see going forward, one of the things is that this mobile workforce, this work from home will continue much stronger than it has in the past. So we see the foldable really fitting that niche well, where you have very mobile workforce with bases of premium and really wanting to be able to work anywhere. The device also has multiple modes. It can be used as a clamshell or a tablet or a tent mode, really opens up a lot of flexibility depending on the application. Microsoft and Samsung, uh, other big players in the market are trying to really replace multiple devices with a single device. And Lenovo's taken a different approach in that regard and looking for really a specialized two-in-one. Correct. And you know, if you look at the history of the industry, one thing you can say is our users like choice. And I think these are tools for innovation, tools for productivity. People use different devices. We have 13, 14, 15, 7 inch laptop. We have desktop. People use different devices. We have tablets for different purposes. So I think the fold will definitely carve out a large segment of the market. A lot of uh, businesses and consumers are going to be concerned about the elements of durability, survivability of folding screens since the early iterations had challenges with cracking and and so on. How have you tackled that with Lenovo's solution? We spent several years perfecting a foldable device. We were not first to market in some segments, but we've worked on this for a long time to perfect it. So in addition to tests that we normally do on a notebook, we added a significant number of tests just to specifically test the durability of the fold. We test the folding displays tens of thousands of times within the configuration. We test the stack up. So we spent a tremendous amount of effort and time in validating that to make certain that this device will be the same standard qualities that you're used to from Lenovo. Daryl, what is the hardware breakthrough that it's now making the foldable screen something that's not just going to break after a few uses? What we had to do with foldable was knowing it was bend. We created this notion of bend zones, where certain areas were rigid and certain areas would bend very well. And that bend zone, we had to think of things very differently. You know, when you think of um, a series of display, display, it's a stack of a series of layers. Once you bend it, very similar to opening a book, it will spread out and they want to shift. So we had to come up with a method to maintain them close enough together, set up a neutral plane, and then allow and adjust the bend layer by layer from the cover material all the way through the display, all the way through the system. So what we working through that, we spent a huge amount of time on perfecting the technology working with our display partners and supporting the display with the hinge mechanisms and a carbon fiber frame to give it the flexibility to move where it needed to, stay rigid where it had to, and absorb that tension and stress within the device.